Hey everybody, this is Caleb Johnson. Um, today I'm going to show you how to take the cold out of cold calling. I'm going to give you nine easy tips that I use that helps me when I make cold calls and make prospecting calls. It takes it, it just makes it a lot easier. I'm you know I'm communicating with them better. I'm connecting better, and it doesn't even feel like it's cold. Or it doesn't even feel like I didn't even know that person from the beginning. I just go right into the call and it's just bam, 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 and I'm making like hundreds of calls in a week time, and it's just going. I'm getting through those like seamlessly. So um, I'm gonna show you nine easy tips to actually get that done faster and easier. Uh, now the first thing is do your research. Now what do you mean by that, Caleb? <clears throat> I mean do your research on the industry that you're calling or the prospect that you're calling. So if you're calling realtors, um, if you're calling um, CEOs, CFOs, if you're calling um, professionals, if you're calling different businesses, are you calling whatever p person that you're calling, do research on that person a little bit. What I mean by that, um, if you don't know what realtors do, if you don't know what a CFO is, just go to Google. Go to Google search and say, uh, what does a CFO do? Or what is a CFO? What do CEOs do in companies? Or what does a realtor do? What are the duties and jobs of, of a realtor? Um, um, you know, Or you can search, what do you final, financial planners do? Or if you know the person that you're going to call in a cold market, do some research online. Google their name and see if they have a LinkedIn pro, um, profile or uh, do some research on Facebook, see if they have a Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, or whatever. And just learn a little bit about that person or learn a little bit about what that person does. So if that would actually help out a lot going into the conversation because uh, if you know a little bit about what they do or you know a little bit about what they, what they do or what they like, it's going to be a lot better building rapport and having conversations. So... Make sure you do your research on the industry that you're calling or the profession or the person. So, n Number two, think about what you want from them before the call. This is very important because I've had a lot of people to call, you know, I have a lot of people to come up to me, have the same experience and story. I used to do this too. When I used to make calls way before, um, I'll make a call to a prospect and then um, somehow get into the call I end up the at the end of the call we end up talking about something totally different and then he end up giving me information about his company and then I'm actually accepting it and I'm saying oh cool that'll be cool so he's he's actually trying to set up a follow-up date for me to come to, to contact him from his business <laughs> so I mean you know what you want uh, before you go into that call you know so in network marketing we want to set up an appointment now you might be in a different industry you might want to be you might be able to set up a sales um, uh, a sales campaign to see how you can help his team out with sales if you have a product that you're selling that will help his sales um, professionals sales um, clerks or um, salesmen um, be able to be more productive or whatever you want from the call make sure you establish that before the call so you know where your role is and what his role is and then you'll be able to take him to where you want to in that call. Uh, number three, come up with a list of rejections and answers and no and answer them. So in network marketing it's only a few rejections that we normally get and uh, if you're in network marketing you pretty much know them you know don't have time, money, talk to the wife, um, uh, the pyramid scheme. There's only a few of them that we normally usually get. So just go over those rejections and just familiarize yourself with them and the answers to those rejections and rebuttals to those rejections. So you'll be able to be uh, quicker, smarter, faster to be on top of them so you can be able to uh, come off as of someone who uh, is uh, that knows their craft and that someone who can definitely get that person the cross over the line for being uh, someone who who's ignorant who doesn't know to being someone who does know so uh, number four practice your script I'm, I can't put emphasis on this you've got to practice your script now you might say well kid I don't have a script well make up one you um, kind of go through a call figure out 
go on YouTube, figure out different ways that you can use different words, and make up your own script. I learned this from Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy said, if you don't have a script when you're making calls, you're just kind of just going, you're just, just wandering around on the phone. You got to have a script because if you don't have a script, you're going to end up saying stuff that don't work or you're, it's all about how you say stuff. And if you have a script, you already know what you're going to say and, uh, and it goes a lot easier when you do that. And you need to practice that script, know that script. So you, when you come off as, uh, if you come off, it's going to that prospect. You t contact that prospect. You're coming off as someone who's sharp, um, a force to be reckoned with, knows their craft, someone that they will probably would love to work with. You don't come off as too salesy. Um, you're not coming off as uh, someone who just doesn't know what they're talking about. They're just kind of winging it on the phone. So. Practice your script, and, and if you don't have a script, get one. Number five, do your calls first. Now, if you're full-time in network marketing or or if you're part-time, the reason why you want to do your calls first is because um, the first thing, if you're full-time in network marketing, you want to do your calls first. The number one reason why is because in the morning, whoever you're trying to reach, you're gonna you nine times out of ten you're gonna reach that person in the morning because in the morning time they probably just got to the desk or they probably just got out of a meeting or they're getting ready for the day you can hit them call them right when they're right at the desk or right when they just started that day so they can you can ask them you know or you can uh, invite them to take a look at your presentation or whatever your goal is to getting them to and moving them forward secondly if you're part-time uh, this is for part time too as well. If you're part time, another reason why you want to do your calls first is because you just want to get it over, get over, get out of the way of the thing that you hate most. As soon as you get home from your nine to five or you're tired, just get your calls done. Because I mean, most people don't like cold calling. People don't like calling. Period. So if you can get that out of the way, and this goes for full timers too. If in the morning, if you get that out of the way, because you know you'll be able to reach that person, um, your success of reaching that person will be higher. Plus, you'll be able to get those calls out the way. So you have the whole day to, to do whatever you will, else you want to do, or to answer through follow up calls to people who you called that didn't answer. Number six, recognize and diffuse hidden pressures this means exactly what it says i mean you want to recognize it and, and, and diffuse it so usually when you're calling a prospect you're basically that prospect is diff is definitely thinking okay you know what is this guy going to sell me what is he selling i'm not buying how long he's going to take he's probably going to take up much much amount of time he's going to keep talking on this long spiel He's going to be talking about something I'm not even interested in. And an example of what I usually do at the beginning of the call, I just say, hey, John, look, I don't have much time. Or you can say, I only have a few minutes. Or I won't take up most of the time. I'll just say that. And I'll just say, I just want to see if what, we, what we're what we doing and what you're doing, uh, if there's any fit or way that we can help. And I would, that diffuses the pressure. That diffuses that you're a salesman. You're trying to help them. And I don't have time diffuses the... Um, the pressure of you know you taking up most of the time or you're trying to be a salesman and trying to sell them something so what I do right at the beginning of the call I diffuse that hey John I don't have much I don't want to hold up you know I don't have much time myself but um, just give me a quick call I came across your information on such and such and such I'm an entrepreneur I love working with sharp people and I just had a quick I just wanted to see what we're doing and what you're going where where you're going uh, if there's any fit or any way we can help and I just had a quick question to ask you. Do you uh, keep your income options open for making additional income? You can do about you can go about it like, like that or any way you can go about it. And you just you know, just uh, diffuse that pressure at the beginning. Seven, build a conversation. You got to build a conversation. And an example that I use most of the time is hey, have you ever considered doing something else or or you or you're happy with where you're at now? I mean, that's a powerful question then because uh, it's a two-part question. Have you ever considered doing something else? And then I'm saying, or are, are you happy with where you're at now? So that's a powerful question because most people are not happy with where they're at now, but they're comfortable. And they probably haven't considered doing something else because they're comfortable, but they know they're not happy. 
So and you can build a nice conversation off that. It would say, well, you know, you can ask that question and say, well, you know, uh, I, I have considered doing something else, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I am happy with where I'm at now, but what you got? And then you can say, oh, and you just ask questions on this one. You build on conversations, you just ask questions, you can just ask the normal question. You can say, well, how long have you been doing what you've been doing? Well, I've been doing it for 15 years. Oh, okay, so how's that working out for you? That's working out pretty good. Oh, okay, so you own your own business, so how have you normally marketed your business? Oh, I market my business like this. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, um, so yeah, yeah so, so do you work your business a full time or you have any side projects that you are, are involved with? while you're building your business oh, no, no, no. just ask questions on this part just ask a lot of questions um, that you're being interested not interesting you want to be interested in them but not interesting as uh, something that you can try to get them to be interesting interested in your business or be interesting as meaning that being um, over the top kind of like you know hey I got a great product here I can save you some money on da 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 so yeah, so be interested in them, not interesting. Uh, and number eight, identify a core problem you can solve with or for your prospects. So for example, I use um, uh, going into the conversation somehow in the conversation after I ask them, you know, uh, is it, if anything you can change, you know, if there's anything that you know you can uh, have you ever considered doing something else, if it you know, or are you or are you happy with what you're doing? I'll just, you know, I, and somehow, somewhere in a conversation, I'll just bring up this. I'll say, so what are two problems that you're having right now that if you could change, that if, that is if I could solve or fix for you, that you would actually take me serious and give me a few minutes of your time. And then, and they, they might say, well, Kayla, what do you mean by that? You just repeat it. You say, well, what are two problems that you're having right now that if you could change? That if you could change, it would actually make you happier or more, uh, or more or less stress free. And then you, they'll start naming, give you to their pipe. Wow, mm, huh? No one ever really asked me that before. Hmm, that's a hard question. Don't you know, spend more time with my family, or um, be able to get home on time, or oh well, be able to see my kids more. And then this is the question right here that you can ask to even determine if they're even. Uh, uh, if if this prospect is actually going to be someone that you would like to work with in your business, or you can, this is the question that you're going to ask, and you can really determine if your business will be able to help that person. If someone says, "Well, I just want to be able to um, start a new business and create some more income," most problems that are nowadays that people have. Network marketing can solve it. We solve time problems, money problems, being with the family problems, anything that they have. Pretty much, network marketing can solve. I haven't. I mean, it's probably some um, problems out there that network marketing probably couldn't solve. Like I'm trying to get into a bigger building. Well, you know, get into a bigger building, you need money. So I mean, and network marketing can solve that. So most of the problems that people have, that can solve. Pretty much, they can solve it. So. The reason why you identify the problem so you can be able to summarize that up at the end. Um, and number nine, determine if that person is a great fit by asking that person the two things that if they can change, and then um, seeing if it, so you ask them, hey, um, have you ever considered doing something else, or are you happy with where you're at now? And they say, well, you know, they they say they do consider doing something else they are not happy of where they at right now the two problems that they have is I would like to spend more time with my family and, and um, be able to send my kids to, in college they want to go to and then just from that you uh, just from that you determine if that's a great fit you say well well that is a great fit and then you just summarize that all up and what I usually do to summarize that up I usually say this I say look John look this may or may not be for you but if I could share with you a way that you can actually you know uh, pay for your kids college earlier than expected without interfering interfering time wise with your full time or part time job or career that or, or business would you be open to it simple as that and then ask them if they will be open if they are you set that appointment and go to the next step and then uh, you go about it as you do any other um, business or your system in your company and that's how you uh that's what i usually do to get the cold out of my cold calling so if you got value from this um 
go ahead and subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel at the uh, at the bottom of the screen at the bottom right and then you'll never ever miss another video again and if you're struggling to find people to talk to in your local area uh, about your business shoot over to calebjohnsononline.com and get access to how to download free leads with your library card now this is epic uh, this is a little different than the video that's already on YouTube how to download um, um, lists on Google search this is actually pretty good because with your library card with this um, system that they have with the access to the system for free with your library card you can really get down in nitty to the nitty-gritty and find a certain person in your area in your backyard who's looking for a business that you're looking for versus if you go to Google and you can search list that might now be uh, what you're looking for that's just gonna bring up a, a genre of different people that you can call but this is actually getting to the nitty-gritty and getting into detail and finding the right person for your business alright this is Caleb Johnson I'll see you tomorrow take care and I happy calling bye bye